All right, all right. Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to more Ace Combat 7. Let's head on to the next mission. The island we went to was supposed to have been secured by the ground forces. They hadn't gotten a handle on things by the time we got there. So now we were stuck in the middle of a half-assed campaign. My job was to get the planes ready for combat, making repairs and handing them over to our troop of cons. Thing is, the enemy still had the hangars. The comms were still down, so none of us knew what the hell was going on. The last transmission I heard before everything went to shit was that some prisoners from an Ocean military penal unit rioted and managed to escape. They stole some jets and now they were flying around, taking out their former allies left and right. I wonder if any units like ours were out here, creeping around. Hearing the Ocean jets firing at each other overhead chipped away at morale. Since the radio was out, it was quiet. I liked it better that way. All I heard was the gunfire. Here we were, walking around carrying rifles. We were pilots, damn it. Friendly fire will probably kill us. You know things are desperate when the guards that used to lock us into solitary are now telling us it's better we all stick together. I guess they think our odds of surviving this war are better that way. After walking for miles across the battlefield, we came across the wreckage of a plane. Passenger, not military. I knew that rose. It was an erosion liaison plane. The guard's dogs smelled something and took off. They led us to a cliff. And the bodies. Today, I lost everything. When Osea attacked our capital, my father, a man who was never really suited to being the king, was killed. I was to be flown out of the war zone to safety, but the plane was shot down by rebels. The entire crew was killed in the crash. Soldiers appeared and one shot at me. My dog went after him and shot him to pieces. He was my best friend. After all those speeches I gave, about working together for peace. I thought everyone felt the same as I did. <gasps> I'm sure the soldier who shot at me knew I was the princess of Arugia. He was Arugian too. More soldiers have come. Now, there is no one left to protect me. I am so numb, I cannot move. Watch as one of their dogs approaches and sniffs mournfully at my dead friend. I wonder if it grieves for him as much as I do. I can barely think. I feel weaker by the minute. I don't know who these soldiers are with, but I managed to take a sip of the water they gave me. How long have you been here? Somehow, I muster the courage to answer the woman's question. Tell her I've been there three days. They gather around me with grim looks on their faces. What would they do if they knew I was the Erosion Princess? After searching the cockpit of the plane, the woman who spoke to me before came back to me. This is an air-to-ground tactical radio. It still works! I noticed she walked with a limp. She knelt down next to me and asked her companions to give me some food. And then, very softly, she said, You see, I used to listen to your broadcasts, your royal highness. Just what did you see here? Now the story's getting good, and you're going to cut it off and maybe go fly another mission. I want to keep watching that. <laughs> Homeward bound. We're going home, Speedy. Okay, enough talk. Your opinions have all been taken into consideration. Beyond the seizure of Forbanti, which is important, and supporting the Erusian officer, 
At this point, I just don't know what our strategy is. Or what our mission is. Radio communication is still patchy for both the military and civilians, so we're getting zip from mission command about our orders. Still, with countless erosion forces in the area, it's too dangerous for us to stay around here waiting for a miracle. Now, regarding Count's suggestion to think about self-defense, uh, I think we should make a break for Tyler Island. It was a large Ocean base before the start of the war. Count says his previous squadron took part in an operation to seize control of the island. It has the only base that will get us to the space elevator without refueling. It's also a transport facility for supply ships that provide drones and ammo for arsenal birds. For the Ocean forces that are looking to reclaim the space elevator, those are two great reasons in its favor. If everything went according to plan, the base may already be in allied hands when we get there. Though based on what Count told me about the island operation, it won't be easy to seize control. If the ground troops have managed to open the bridgehead, the transport route to Osea for supply ships should be available. So much at stake, I can't imagine Arusia just giving it up without a fight. Things could really have gone bad. Even if there are enemies left, they should be pretty easy to suppress. I just want to go home, man. Me too. With that look on your face, Trigger, I know exactly what you want. Move stuff up. Trigger's ready to kick ass, then so am I. Damn straight. We're with you, Trigger. It's decided then. Let's get all the aircraft and haul ass to Tyler Island. Although we can avoid the Arsenal Bird's anti-air network, there's still remnants from the erosion forces. I want to get to the island without getting into any unnecessary combat. Make a fast craft and fix it how you want. Pack for a long trip, but remember, if you drag your ass, you'll get left behind. Fast aircraft, eh? I have just Sivan! Anyways, let's go buy some more stuff. I got how much money? Like 400 grand or some crap? Nah, not quite enough. Uh, I could buy that, but I really don't need it because it's dumb and I like this one better. Uh, and this one gets a laser gun, which is stupid. Uh, it's pretty bad with the Japanese aircraft, it's the mild one. Woo! Sorry, jeez. They're exactly the same. But yeah, this one gets you gets real stuff, and this thing gets stupid stuff. So let's see. We could go on this route and get to the uh, F-35. If I go this route, No, we're just gonna rock. We'll save our money and rock the MiG-31 in this one. They said pick a fast aircraft. Ain't nothing faster I got. I could take that. <laughs> this thing's so goddamn slow. Alright, uh, MiG-30. Actually, you know what? Let me see something here. Preview. How do I change skins on an aircraft? That's the weird part. I still don't know how to change skins. That's that's the weird thing. Because usually they always let you do it like right here. And you press something like start or square or triangle or something like that. Whatever. We're gonna take the big 31, big old fox hound. Some pots in this sucker. So I want to put this on to make it even faster. And it improves all mobility and stability options, which is uh, a lot of stuff, okay. Flight speed. Standard missile load. Flight distance. Increase special oh, standard missile lock on range, yeah. Homing capabilities, of course. Alright, put on one more. Pot. Do something on the body. 
Well, yeah, we're going to put on the increased aircraft acceleration because that's all this thing is, is just an engine with wings on it. <laughs> Let's go. Strider Squadron, sortie ASAP. This plane is so freaking stupid. <laughs> I freaking love this thing just because of how dumb it is. <laughs> I'm like, why did they even build something like this? I mean, I get it. Why? But it, it's so unwieldy. This is Tango 2 3, pursued by multiple tanks. And oh, very basic cockpit. It's. Yeah. Oh, this. Very basic cockpit. Very Russian. Very Soviet. Look the acceleration. Wahoo! Is on the ocean landing ship. Oh gosh, I'm breaking Mach 3. Multiple bogeys inbound. Damn it. Prepare for anti-air combat. This is the AWACS Longcaster. The aircraft in your area belong to the LRSSG. Now my aircraft. A retreating vehicle is taking fire. Requesting assistance. Roger. I D beat. At least the overseas turn looks pretty good. Okay, so all the boats are ours.
as unwieldy as I remember it. Drones. Behind the enemy. All enemy bombers are 
Towers have been destroyed. We did it. Continue with your mission. Ow! Where did it come from? Pretty much cleaned up the sky. You'll never catch me now! Boom and zoom, baby! Boom and zoom! I really should not be dogfighting in this thing, but... Whatever. This APC out is being a bother. first activating Chopper Dave Countdown. Oh gosh, I gotta get rid of that crap quick. Hang on, hang on, hang on, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Warning, enemy has a beat on you. I can get it, I can get it, I can get it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I got this, I got this. No, it's bullcrap! Stupid 
Got the game. You gotta do this in just five seconds. Only thing I got a problem with this freaking game is these stupid timers. There's always like some little extra little timer. Again, I'm tunnel visioning and I didn't see the freaking extra timer. Oh, I got the plane for the job here, baby. We got bandits in coming on radar. You're gonna have to forget about it for now. Focus on destroying that supply ship first. We're sitting ducks like this. Let the supply ship get too far away, we'll never be able to catch it. Ow! Whoa! I got completely turned around. We took that whole island. Well, that was fun. Aside from the stupid timer that popped up out of nowhere. I never see that thing because I'm too busy trying to look for new targets that I don't see the thing in the middle of the goddamn screen because nothing that I want to shoot at is ever in the goddamn middle of the screen. Good. Take a seat. Everyone's here. All right. Good work in sinking the supply ships. 
Not to mention saving the refugees. However, we're in no position to start celebrating. Even the commander here is starting to fray from the stress. Can't say I blame him. Now, Tyler Island is in a state of complete anarchy. This base isn't safe either. The faces you see around you are the only friends we've got. Take a good look. 56 ground targets, two supply ships. Maybe a couple of F-35s, got some TU-160s. Yeah, boy. A bunch of money off that one. All right, guys, we're going to see you on the next one. Later!